Yo, 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 what is up guys? This is the Fantasy Football GOAT. I'm back with another video, and in this video it is going to be start them, start them, sit them, week one running back edition. I just did quarterback edition. I'm probably uploading all of them on the same day, because I'm going to pump out those uploads, guys. I can't wait for the season to start. Hopefully you guys are right with me. Now, start them. Most of these, some of these are going to be obvious. Some of these are going to be shocking to you guys, but... Christian McCaffrey versus the Raiders. I don't know why PPR points. If you guys want me to predict how many points they're going to have, like the point range that my prediction, let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely do that for week two. Saquon Barkley versus the Steelers. Uh, did I say? Yeah, I'd say Christian McCaffrey versus the Raiders. Definitely start. It's going to be a game between Josh Jacobs and Christian McCaffrey. I feel like they're both going to eat that game. Saquon Barkley versus the Steelers. Nope, this is self-explanatory. Ze Zeke versus the Rams. I feel like Zeke is so consistent. You, pretty, you have to start him every week. Same, Probably same with these guys, but just saying. Dalvin Cook versus the Packers. Again, I feel like it's going to be Aaron Jones, Dalvin Cook. Packers like to run the ball now, apparently. You know, game manager Aaron Rodgers. I don't agree with it, but I guess it's okay. Derrick Henry versus the Broncos. I would, uh, yeah, he's probably got to do really well this game. You know, he's another consistent player. He's going to put up 17 to 25 points per game because you get so much uh, carries Alvin Kamara oh sorry yeah Alvin Kamara versus Tampa Bay see the good thing is about Kamara I feel like he's going to be so consistent this year because Drew Brees is fully fully healthy so Kamara Kamara is going to get catches and carries so it's like it's just Kamara is like for PPR, he's one of my favorite running backs because you know he's he's gonna get like five to ten catches a game, just off little little pass plays. So you know he's gonna be racking up the points. Nick Chubb versus the Ravens. This was almost a almost a risky start for me. I do feel like you should start him because you pretty much like have to start these guys. But like he's like I don't know how good he's gonna do. It's a question in my head. Joe Mixon versus the Chargers. I think he's going to do good. I'm not a huge Joe Mixon fan, but people, a lot of people like him. I do think he, he'll do well versus the Chargers. Josh Jacobs versus the Panthers. I just explained that with McCaffrey here. Jacobs will be doing good this game. I, I predict maybe like 20, 25 PPR points. Clyde Edwards versus the Texans. This one is really, really uh, interesting for me. I think he's going to put up like 17 to 22 fantasy points around that range. Austin Ackler versus the Bengals. He could put up anywhere from, I feel like, anywhere from 15 to 30. I know that's a big thing. Honestly, let me change that. 20 to 30. I think he's going to do really well versus the Bengals. Um, he'll do like... I feel like he's a real safe player. He's going to give you 20, but he could pop off and give you 30. Miles Sanders versus Washington football team. Um, I know he's battling a hamstring injury, but I do think you have to start him. And I do think he's still he's going to put up solid numbers. Um, not sure how good he's going to do, but good enough for you to start him. Aaron Jones versus the Vikings. I explained that too. Um, I think he's going to do well this game. Probably score a touchdown, maybe two. Todd Gurley versus Seahawks. I do think Todd Gurley's going to do good this game. And then I do think Chris Carson's going to do good versus the Falcons. James Conner versus Giants. He's healthy. I mean, you, you have to start him, I feel like. He's going to do good this game. David Johnson versus the Chiefs. Another one I was hesitant about. But I just think... I just think he'll do good enough. I mean, honestly. It might be a high scoring game. But I feel like David Johnson is going to do solid this game. Mostert versus Arizona. This one was interesting to me. But I feel like Mostert is going to do good this game. And just have... He'll have a role in that backfield. Um, and play pretty solid this game. Cam Akers. If... What's his name? Daryl Henderson. If Daryl Henderson doesn't play versus the Cowboys, I would start Cam Akers. Um, yeah. I would start Cam Akers. Or try to. James White versus the Dolphins. Now that Damian Harris is on IR, I would just... I mean, they got Sonny Michelle, but James White will definitely do solid versus the Dolphins, even though Dolphins have a pretty solid defense this year. Tariq Cohen versus Lions. At the time of recording this, um... Henry, what's his name? David Montgomery, sorry. David Montgomery is not, is probably not going to play week one. So, Tariq Cohen might have a lot of, uh, a lot of work 
maybe not even like a lot of work on the ground, but he'll have a lot of passing down work. Jonathan Taylor versus the Jaguars. Definitely think the Colts are going to utilize Taylor Mac this game, but I feel like Taylor's going to do better than Mac. Okay. Risky start, Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins. Both risky starts. Like, I, like you could start either one, and I'd be like, okay, I see you. But it's like, it's like maybe not a good idea. Maybe it's risky. Nick Chubb, I mentioned up there. He's like, risky start. Put him down here. Kenyon Drake. I am benching Kenyon Drake this week. Now, he is in my flex. So you should understand. I got Drake in the third round. He definitely fell. I got Drake in the third round. Um, I got Kamara in the first. Eckler second. Drake in the third. I don't know, I'm sitting Drake out this week. I'm playing DJ Shark over him. I really do think Shark has higher upside. And you want to go for upside in the flex usually. Drake, I feel like, is not going to get over like 16, 17 points. I feel like that's like his upside. He's playing San Fran. 49ers have a top, top defensive line. Great run defense. I don't know. Aaron Jones. I don't find him to be a risky start. Um, I don't know why I put him there. Maybe he is like I feel like he's touchdown dependent. That's the problem with him. He might not do he might not do great, but I feel like he'll have a touchdown or two. So and then Chris Thompson. A lot of people are actually starting Chris Thompson this week. Um it's definitely not a bad idea. It's risky because Chris Thompson the good thing about him is in PPR he's going to get some catches. It's literally DJ Shark's gonna eat, I think. And then if they might run the ball a little bit. I mean, he might get like 8 to 12 carries. Um, and then possibly they might have Armstead in there too. But I don't know. Thompson, I feel like we'll get some catches. So, therefore, he's risky. But he's you can start. Sit him. Melvin Gordon versus the Titans. I like the Titans defense this year. I do not like Melvin Gordon this year. Le'Veon Bell versus the Bills. Bills have a top 5 defense in my opinion. Um, maybe, maybe better, but I just wouldn't start Bell. I mean, uh, Devin Singletary versus the Jets. Another one I wouldn't start. I feel like it's going to be Zach Moss. I wouldn't start him or Zach Moss this game. I don't know. I'm just staying away from the Bills. I really like J Zach Moss. Don't get me wrong. In my prediction video, I had him top 10. Bold prediction. Guys, it was bold prediction. Him getting top 10, being a top 10 running back. I just, I just, it's hard for me to tell this early without seeing them play. So I'm trying to stay away. I'm going to sit both of them this week. DeAndre Swift, he might not even play. But, and carry on Johnson. I would just sit him. Versus the Bears. Yeah, Bears, Bears have a good defense. Pretty solid defense. You know, I, I just would. Again, another backfield that, like, I think they're going to be good. But just, I don't want to start him this early right now. Leonard Fournette versus the Saints. I just wouldn't start him. I'm staying away from the Tampa backfield um, throughout the first couple weeks for sure. Kareem Hunt versus the Ravens. I just don't see a point of starting Kareem Hunt um, this week. Antonio Gibson versus the Eagles. I I kind of have him as a risky start. Like if you start him, I'm okay with it. But then again, like I don't recommend it. I would I wouldn't play him. Jordan Howard and Matt Breida versus the Patriots. Another. These are just some backfields that I'm just staying away from week one. That have potential um, later on in the season, or you know, even, even in a couple of weeks. But I don't know. I just don't stay away. Stay away, guys. But if you guys agree with me, let me know. And if not, also let me know. But uh, yeah, just let me know how you guys are. Uh, what do you guys think? Who would you start? Who would you sit? What do you disagree with me? And do you, is there anything that you agree with me here? Do you guys think that will you will you sit down? Uh, not sit down. Will you sit, Kenyon Drake? over DJ Shark and your flex in a PPR format league. What would you guys do? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.